Hey friends, Pastor Buddy Chapman here from Keep the Promise Ministries, just checking in. Uh, try to give us a little encouragement for midweek. Hope everybody's doing good. And I just uh, as I was praying today, I just really thinking about a few things, and I and I, I wanted to give us a little something to think about for this week, and something that uh, that we could kind of just sink our teeth into. And I see people joining in there. Hey Stephen, what's up, buddy? A couple other folks coming on. That's awesome. But a little something to uh, think about. And here's my question for us: What are you investing in? You know, I talk to guys all the time from working and, and different things, and they, they talk about different things they're investing in, their 401ks, their stock plans, and all that. Hey, I think it's a great idea, the plan. I think it's a great idea to, to you know, put a little money back and things like that. But I want you to hear what I'm saying tonight. I want you to hear what I'm saying tonight. So many times people invest in things, and, and what happens is they end up sacrificing what they really want, and they don't even realize it. And you say, what are you talking about, buddy? tell you this before I, I read this little passage here. A long time ago, I met a guy. I was working at a place, and this man was very well known. He was always a good guy. He was good to me. I know him since I was a, a young man, and I was talking to him, and, and he had made a great deal of money. He had he owned a lot of things where we lived, everything else, and I was talking to him, and I said, how did you get started? You know, how did you get started? What's going on? And he had told me he had, he had got a truck when he was a young man. He was doing some different things and he would, he would load furniture and he would do this. And, and then he got where he bought a couple of cars and he sold some cars and then he got a few other things and he ended up buying a hotel and, uh, then he had a storage place and he had all these things. And I go, man, that's really neat. But I begin to ask him about things of the Lord and, and, and was he happy? And now, I'm never going to tell you this, you know, don't run out and work hard and all this. Man, we should work as if we're working unto the Lord. So please don't misunderstand me. I'm, I'm just kind of laying the fra framework for where we're going. And I asked this guy, I said, man, it looks like you put a lot of work in. You know, you really have worked hard. I'm glad that your accomplishments have come through. And he got real quiet. And, and I was a very young guy at the time. And, and I'm, I'm just looking at this and I'm saying, okay, what's it all about? You know, teach me something. Show me how how to do the things uh, out in the, in the world and make a little extra money. And the guy began to talk, and then and he got real quiet, like I said. He said, son, I'm going to tell you what, I've made a lot of money. I met a lot of people, and I own a lot of things. And he began to cry, and he said, but it will cost you everything if you're not careful. And I said, what do you mean? He said, it cost me my family. It cost me my health. And a lot of times it cost me my peace. What was happening is he invested so much in everything to, to get the business, to do this, to get to that point where he could just, man, I, I finally got it now. I finally got it now. And when he finally got to the point where he could take a break, where he thought, he looked around, the things that he loved the most were gone. His family, his health, his children. And I thought, man, that's, that's really sad. But a lot of times we have so much written richness already, uh, not in the form of, of things maybe we could touch, but from God. And so I said, what are we investing in? You know, I was thinking about that today. You know, a lot of times we're investing in, I'm not talking about investing in money. I'm talking about investing in your heart, your, your, your time, and everything else. And this is the question that, that came up to me. So really, what am I investing my life in? What does it pay? You know, a lot of times when people are investing in stuff, they say, hey, well, well what, is, what is the return rate? Are you investing in anything that pays great dividends? Let me read a scripture for you today and we'll jump right back in. I won't hold you long tonight. This is out of James chapter 4. We're starting in verse 13. It says, now listen, you who say today or tomorrow, we will go to this city or that city, spend a year there, carry on business and make money. Why, you don't even know what will happen tomorrow. Now listen to this. He said, what is your life? I want you to think about that. What is your life? It says, you are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. And man, I tell you what, even if we live 120 years, it's a short time in the backdrop up, up against eternity. So I always say, man, what are you investing in? What are, you, what are, what are, what are your goals? What are, what's going on? I think it's great to work hard, man. I think it's great to have a plan. But I'm going to tell you what. The best plan is to sit down and seek the Lord so that he can show us the plan that he has for our life. Over and over, I think back about that man, and I thought, man, Lord, I hope finally he found some peace somewhere sometime. I begin to share a little bit about my life and the gospel message, and he was open to that. And I pray that, you know, as time went on, I, I, I didn't get to, to see him much after that, but I, I pray that I, I planted that seed. You know, here's my thing. 
You know, what's your life about? What's going on? What are you investing in? I pray that you're investing in things that will bring eternal dividends. What do you mean, buddy? Winning souls for the Lord. Spending time in God's Word. Because that investment, you can't buy with money. You can't, you can't buy with, you know, degrees and all these other things. And I think all those things are great. What are you saying, buddy? I'm saying, you know what? Let's seek the Lord first and ask Him to guide our steps and direct us. And as we follow along God's word, God's perfect plan for our life, you'll see that God can make you rich in so many ways. First thing, when we call on the name of Jesus, we're rich in him. Amen. We have all the riches we need in Christ Jesus. And I hope that you hear that tonight because sometimes you say, man, I've got this going on and I've got this going on and I've got this going on. Well, I tell you what, God's got a lot going on and he's never too busy for you. He's never too busy to hear you cry. He's never too busy to hear you whisper. He's never too busy to just hear a praise. So what are we investing in? I hope we're investing in things that are, are building the kingdom of God, changing lives, transforming lives for eternity. And you can do that through God's word and prayer and speaking God's word. Hey, look, they laugh at me a lot of times at church. I said, I'm not telling you to go out and put anybody in the Holy Ghost headlock. I'm telling you to share your story and what God's done in your life. And you'll be surprised as we lift the Lord up, people are drawn to him. I hope you guys enjoy the message today. Think about that. Pray about it and say, Lord, direct my steps. And I tell you what, start off with seeking the Lord. You can never go wrong spending time with the Lord. I've never heard anybody say, man, I've just been praying too much. You know, we get the great privilege to come boldly to the throne of grace because of what Christ did when we call on his name. I hope you guys heard that message with your heart today. I hope that it's encouraging to you. Hey, look, I ask you this uh, every time we do one of these. What can you do to make an eternal difference? You can hit the share button. It's that simple. You can pass this message on to your friends, your family, and let God do the work. Let God do the work in their life. Hey, I hope you guys enjoy what's going on. This has been a blast for us. This is a great privilege. And thank you for uh, just giving us this privilege. So, guys, take a look at what's going on. Uh, Pastor Buddy Chapman from Keep the Promise Ministry signing out. We love you. I always direct you back to our website, www.keepthepromise.org. I want to welcome anybody out to our church services that we have at 10 o'clock, uh, 9 Cedar Road in Bacosa, Virginia. Come as you are. We have a great time. Got some great music. And uh, we got some great praise because we got a God that is worthy of all praise. Have a great night, guys. I hope everybody's doing good. Let me know what you think. Uh, put your comments down and pass it on. We love you. Have a great night.